Good morning, everybody, or good day, everybody. Can you do that with me? Here we go. Let's do good morning. And I can't remember if we did morning like that before, but that's the proper word in British language for morning. Here we go. So we'll say good morning, everybody. I'm pointing to everybody. And good day. Or sometimes they, the deaf people might say day or morning. doesn't really matter. Everybody. Well, I hope you're doing well. And I uh, hope you're really getting stuck in with your work. And I know if you look around your classroom, you might not see every one of your classmates there. But we're in a very kind of different kind of time now. So we still need to be stuck into our work. We need to do the very best that we can. And uh, just get, let's get on with everybody. Let's work hard for our teachers and for our moms and dads and uh, whoever's looking after you, that, uh, that we'll be able to make the best of these next few weeks as, as we're trying to get a handle on this, on this virus, okay? I hope everyone's still washing your hands, making sure you're not trying to touch people too much and all that sort of thing. I was just drawing a picture and I wanna show you something I just finished doing. I'm gonna hold it up. Last week we started to talk about Joseph and his family. Do you remember that? He had a big family. He had how many brothers? Do you remember? 11 brothers. Can you imagine what that'd be like to have 11 brothers in your family? Maybe there's some girls here. You're saying, oh, I have one brother and that's too much. Maybe. But I want to show you my family real quick, okay? Here's my family. I did tell you about them. So here's my, let's see, over here. There's my sister. She's the oldest. And there's me, and I like playing basketball, so that's why, oh, over there, there's a, there's a little basketball right there. This is my brother, who's next younger to me, and that's my brother, who's the youngest one of all. Now, we got on pretty well growing up. You may say, Pastor Simpson, did you fight with your brothers and your sister? Um, yeah. I think everyone sometimes fights with your brothers or your sisters. And maybe you don't have a brother or sister to, to fight with. You maybe say, oh, I wish I had a brother or sister so I could fight with them. Well, <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, you may have a brother or sister sometime. Or maybe you'll be like lots of children who are just... Um, you, just, you don't have brothers or sisters, and, and that's okay. And maybe you'll have lots of friends who are like a brother or a sister. But today we want to continue on with our story and think about Joseph and his family, and particularly about brothers and sisters getting on. Now, now his, you remember last week we said, and I showed you my, my quilt, my blanket that my mom made for me, that Joseph's father made him a beautiful coat. And this coat uh, was really special because his, his, dad, his father made it. You couldn't go out to his shop and buy it, but his father made it. That means he took a lot of time to do it, a lot of work to do it. And his brothers were watching, I'm sure, as his father said, Joseph, here's this coat I want to give you. I can imagine his brothers may have been off to the side like this. What do you think that face looks like? Is that a happy face? Is that an excited face? Is it an angry face? Maybe even a jealous face. Well, those brothers were jealous that Joseph got that beautiful coat. Well, some years went on the brothers went out and because they were shepherds they took care of sheep his brothers went out uh, away from the house some miles away from the house to to take the sheep because they needed to get the sheep to a place where there was food that they could eat and after after a little while his brother his father turned to joseph who was quite young he may have been maybe a young teenager and he said joseph i need you to go and see how your brothers are doing way out there where they have where they have the sheep and joseph said okay so Joseph packed up a bit of lunch and he put it in a bag and started walking out to where his brothers were. Or his brothers were there and they were talking and they said things like this. They said, you know, that Joseph, I can't believe he got that coat. I can't, why, he's just, it's just, just, just not fair. 
and they started to talk amongst themselves. Not all of them did. There was one or two of the brothers that said, what are we talking about? Let's, let's not talk evil like that. He is our brother. We should love him. I know our dad made him that coat, but let's not worry about that. But the other brothers said, we're going to get even with him somehow. And all of a sudden, they look out down the distance, and who do you think they see? They see Joseph! And he comes walking down carrying his, uh, maybe he had a stick with a, with, with a bag on it, with his, with his lunch. And he saw him, oh, there, there's my brothers. Hey, y'all, how are y'all doing over there? And his brother said, there's that Joseph. There's that person who thinks he's better than we are. And they started talking about themselves. Oh, we, we have a real chance now. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And they looked over there, and there was a hole in the ground. And Joseph came up to where they were, and you know what they did? They grabbed Joseph, and they threw him into that hole. Can you imagine doing that? Were they being nice to Joseph? Not at all. Those brothers were angry, and they were jealous, and they got uh, hot-tempered. And because of that, they did something that they were going to be sorry for later. But they took Joseph and they threw him into that hole and then they started talking amongst themselves, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And all of a sudden they see someone coming by and they thought, aha, we're going to make some money out of this. And so the person came by and they ended up selling Joseph to this person to be a slave, to be a servant for someone in Egypt. How unfair is that? Why well, those brothers were so angry and so jealous that, that, not, that they not only threw him into that hole, but they got a little bit of money and said, Here, Joseph, here's Joseph, you take him away. We don't want to live with him anymore. Why, well, he gets all the special things. He gets all the, the things from, 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 from Dad. And we just think it's fair and we're very angry. We just take Joseph and take him away. Wow, that's exactly what that person did. So we're going to stop right there with the story, but I do want to ask you a question now. And the question is this. Do you ever get angry or jealous over your brother or your sister or somebody else? How about Christmas time? Did, you, did someone else get something at Christmas that you got jealous over because they got something that you didn't get? You know what? When we get angry and jealous, then sometimes we do things that we should not do just like Joseph's brothers. So what you need to do, if you have had angry thoughts in your mind, you need to go to your brother or your sister and say, I'm sorry for thinking like that. And even if you did something, maybe you took one of their toys and maybe you broke one of their toys because you were jealous then you need to tell your brother or your sister that you're sorry that you did that. And if you'll do that, oh, you'll feel so much better on the inside. You may say, well, Pastor Simpson, if mom finds out or dad finds out, or my grandma and grandpa find out that I broke that toy, then I'm getting all kinds of trouble. Now, wait a minute. You know what? I found that it's better to be honest and say something that we've done wrong even if we get into a little bit of trouble. But you know what? I bet you that if you say that you did something wrong, that your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or whoever looks after you would be very proud of you that you are willing to do that because that takes a strong person. Would you be willing to do that? Let's not be like Joseph's brothers when they did that. So we're going to pray. I ask God to help us have a really good week this week to work really hard. Here we go. God, thank you for our assembly time today. I want to thank you for our family. I want to thank you for whatever shape our family it is, whether we have a brother or a sister or brothers and sisters or no one. We want to thank you for everyone in our family. I pray that you'd help us not to be angry, not to be jealous, and not to do things like they did because we're angry or jealous. But help us, if we did do something wrong, to make it right and to say, I'm sorry, and to tell someone what we've done. 
We want to ask that you'd help us to work really hard this week at school. Help us to be listening to our teachers. Help us to be very careful to make sure we wash our hands and do all the things that we could do to make this virus go away. And then we're going to, God, we're going to thank you for all these things. In Jesus' name, amen. You take care, and we'll see you next week.